Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is going to be a pretty straightforward guide for you to activate the Pack a Punch machine on Blood of the Dead. That was a power switch on the spawn side of the island. You're going to need to activate that in order to get across the catwalk to this part of the island that we're all very familiar with. There's a power box just here, and that could contain some spectral essence. There's also another power box that could equivalently contain that same spectral essence through this door here near the cafeteria on the right hand side. In my case, that's where it spawned in. There's a third and final spawn towards the warden's office under the sign that says Michigan, as you'll see in just a moment. These are the part spawns for the first shield part, and we're going to need all three shield parts in order to actually activate the Pack-a-Punch machine. Once you've grabbed that spectral essence from one of those three power boxes in your game, you're going to need to go all the way down the stairs here. So we're going down to the spiral staircase and then we're just keeping on going down. And on the way down, you're going to see one of the second shield part locations. So you've got to go down a few more of the stairs and then it's going to be actually kind of behind you, just pinned against the wall. Another possibility for where this part could spawn is in this little doorway here, and as you can see, that's exactly where it was in my game. And then finally, if you go out of this little doorway on the right hand side, it can be pinned up there as well. Now, you'll have two shield parts at this point, and you're on pretty good course for getting the Pack-a-Punch unlocked very soon. Go and turn on the power in this room here, and in the next couple rounds or so, you should see good old Brutus spawn in. Kill him, and he'll give you the Warden's key. This is your final shield part. So, go outside to the docks, as you can see where this buildables bench is for the shield, and craft your spectral shield. You'll then want to head up to the roof. So, the route I'm going to take is I'm going on the gondola here, as you can see. I'm then going to be basically just running through the corridors, as you would expect with normal sort of Mob of the Dead geography of things. The layout up here has not changed, so it should be familiar to most of you. But head up to the roof, and your job then is going to be to start killing zombies. But, you want to kill them in a specific kind of way. You're going to pull your shield out and use R2, your right trigger, to drain their souls. Once you've drained three souls from the zombies, and you'll see it happening because their actual kind of spirit husk thing will fly into the air and the soul will go into the key, you'll see that your key ends up being charged, and you can then use it to shield blast, or spirit blast in fact, this vault meter just next to the no one escapes alive sign, these ghosts are going to pop out, and voila! the Pack-a-Punch spawns in. Now, I've done plenty of showcasing of the Pack-a-Punch abilities in this game on my channel already, so I'm not going to do a crazy comprehensive one here, but I think this one is fairly cool, I guess? It looks a little bit more liquidy than some of the other Pack-a-Punch camos, and I mean, it's certainly a little bit more conventional compared to something like the 5, or rather the classified Pack-a-Punch camo, which is just just an insane one but i think this one's pretty cool hopefully you guys like it as well because this is probably the map that the community is going to be playing the most in the next couple months or at least i imagine so and so it'd be a shame if people weren't so keen on the pap camo anyway I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully this guide has been useful for all of you. I've tried to keep it pretty brief because I've done a lot of in-depth stuff in some of my other guides and I figured this one could be a little shorter. But thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you all very soon, hopefully in another Black Ops 4 Zombies video. Bye-bye. Double points! You see meat sacks, I see dollar signs.